Hello and welcome to this Active Inspire tutorial video hosted by Adam Pearce of Strawberry7. In this video I'll be showing you how to switch between different versions of Active Inspire. Active Inspire ships with two versions, Active Primary and Active Studio. Active Primary is for primary schools, Active Studio is for secondary schools and colleges. As Active Studio is statistically the more used version, Active Inspire is defaulted to Active Studio. When you launch Active Inspire for the first time, it does ask you which version you'd like, but Studio is the one that's ticked by default, and most people don't see the message, and so click OK and end up with Studio version when they may want primary. Switching is easy, but it's not that obvious. So what we're going to do here is open a version of Active Inspire that is defaulted to Studio, and we'll see the Studio interface, if you haven't seen it before, and we'll see a box that comes up usually by default as the first box which is called the dashboard and this is where we're going to change versions. So here's our dashboard box there is a chance that this box might not appear if you've uh, for example unticked this box here or you've closed it on startup it's not a problem you can bring the box back at any point by going view dashboard. So from dashboard we click configure and you'll notice a tick box here that says launch next time using primary look and feel. So we're going to tick that box, close the dashboard and we're going to close Active Inspire. Now the next time that we open Active Inspire it will look like the primary version. If we wanted to switch back to Studio for any reason the options and principle is exactly the same it's just that the tick box area will say switch to the studio look and feel rather than the primary look and feel because obviously we're already in primary. So here we can see the primary version, configure and here's the tick box which we could tick to go back to the studio version. So thank you very much for watching. Is there a particular tutorial that you would like to see? Let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to know more about us please check out our website here or in the description. You can also sign up to our newsletter here or in the description for more free tutorials and tips like this.